Hello, welcome to Essential Crochet with me, Sig, and today is another yarn haul review. Now, today is one of those reviews that just makes me giddy. I am reviewing mystery boxes from Darn Good Yarns. Now, I have a lot of their yarn. I have purchased from them in the past, but I've only think once I've ever purchased any of their wool yarn. Usually, when I purchase yarn from them, it's their recycled silk yarn made from sari fabrics and leftover trimmings from from when they make the saris and the sari cloth over in India and then the trimmings are all kind of gathered together and it's spun into into really unique kinds of yarn. And so those are mostly the yarns I have gotten in the past from darn good yarns. I got some wool yarn from them once just a particular skein and a particular color and I really liked it quite a bit. I was surprised. So this time when Darn Good Yarns let me know that they were having a Boxing Day sale, I got pretty excited. And what really made me excited was they had their mystery boxes of wool yarns. So it could be like, they call it a woolly mystery box. And these yarns could be straight wool, merino wool, a blend of other fibers and wool. But the common denominator is the wool in, in, the, in the yarns. And so I said, woohoo. And I looked and these boxes, so the mystery boxes themselves, I'll let you know kind of how it works. The mystery box itself retails out at $160, right? And, you know, so that's a little rich for my blood. Some of you out there, it's not a big deal, but, you know, I can pull $160, but do I want to pull $160 for a mystery box? And in that mystery box, you get eight. Hanks, skeins, donuts, eight yarns. And each one of those yarns is going to have at least a value of $20. So you're going to, at the very least, get your $160 worth. But, you know, that's a little, that's a little hard for me to do when I don't know exactly what yarn I'm getting. Like, I like a mystery as much as the next guy. But there's really not, typically, there's really not a deal or a savings you're just kind of doing it for the fun of it and you know and that's all well and good but that doesn't really quite work for me because i'm going to spend 160 dollars. i want to know what i'm getting if what i'm getting is going to carry the base worth of 160 dollars. you know what i mean but this time around they were offering these boxes for $65. So it was like a 59-60% discount. That makes it more interesting. That makes me stand up and take notice, right? So I start getting a little excited. I'm like, mm, this looks pretty interesting, but do I still want to buy it? I don't know. And then Boxing Day came. Oh, Boxing Day. Not only was it now $65 with the Boxing Day discount they offered me, I can now buy one of these boxes and get one free. So, I did just that. I mean, I'm going to get $160 retail price worth of yarn for, what, like $32, $33 a box? plus a little shipping. And, you know, because I'm a member with Darn Good Yarn, I get a reduced shipping cost. So I think shipping came to a total of like $6 or something ridiculous. Yeah, and then you get a little bit of a discount, a little additional discount when you're a member. So it kind of all adds up and it all kind of rolls into this, to this lovely little price. So I did, I went ahead and I purchased four boxes of the DK Weight. I purchased two boxes of the fingering weight and I purchased two boxes of the assorted colors. So the assorted colors is going to be anything from bulky yarns down to lace weight yarns. It's just, you know, the only caveat is all going to be some kind of wool or wool blend. And so that box is going to be the real surprise to see kind of what comes in there. Now there's one thing that I do know about darn good yarns and more times than not, 
when you buy a bundle or a mystery box, there's typically not a lot of variation between boxes of the same of the same title. So if you're going to get a mystery box, DK weight of the wool, chances are very good that each box is going to have the same exact yarn in it. And I, I'm, I'm, I was banking on that. I was counting on that because I was really hoping to get enough quality yarn, you know, between four boxes, you know, since I'm using DK size or DK weight yarn as, as my example. So I was really hoping that with that, I would get enough yarn of the same yarn to really make a project to really do something with. Right. And so, um, and so I, I crossed my fingers and I pushed the, the pay button and I got my order in. And now I'm going to tell you what my order was. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to break the cost down. So I'll tell you what the cost came to, you know, how much as we go along through the video, I'm going to tell you how much the yarn that came in that particular box actually retails out to. And then at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I paid for all eight boxes in total and what they would have cost me had I paid for them retail. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get started with telling you about the yarns. And the first yarn I'm going to tell you about are the four boxes, the four mystery boxes of the DK weight yarn. So rather than boxes, yarn came in all these, these bags, which are going to be perfect, perfect for project bags or just a standard tote. I think they're actually made from the sari material, leftover sari material. Maybe I'll have to investigate a little further to be for sure. So anyways, each, each box came in, you know, rather than coming in a box, my eight skeins came in one of these bags. So let me go ahead and open up these bags and then we will discuss. Okay, so just as I suspected, each of my four DK weight boxes, exactly the same things came in all of them. So am I happy? Woohoo! So I've got beautiful yarn and a lot of it. I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm so pleased. So the first yarn that I'm going to pull out. So I just pull out each, each box or bag rather came with two of the same yarn, right? And so I'm going to times that by four because I have four boxes or rather bags. And that's going to give me eight skeins, but I'll just show you the ones from the one bag. So now this particular peachy kind of color is from Vitalana. And they call it a lofty DK. And the colorway is spray rose. Now this yarn is 48% merino wool and 20% alpaca. And it feels just wonderful. Oh, and sorry, 32% organic Pima cotton. This is just beautiful. It's a chain spun. And it's so nice. It's going to make a wonderful sweater. DK weight, of course, and, and 100 grams. So I got 100 grams of this stuff in each of my skeins. And that is really pleasant, a pleasant surprise. Because while a 50 gram skein would certainly have been worth at least $20, 100 grams means I can really do something with the yarn that I got. And so that makes me, that makes me do the happy dance. So at any rate, so for my 100 grams, I'm going to get 274 yards or 250 meters out of this. It's a hand wash, as, as would be expected, and lay flat to dry. Now, if you're a knitter, you're going to be using a 3.75 through a 4.5 millimeter needle. And if you are a crocheter, they recommend a 4.5 to a 5.5 millimeter hook. So, oh yeah, that's, that's very wonderful. That, yeah, I just, I can't say enough. So the next two skeins that I get are from Knitology, or it's called Knitology Wisp Knit Crate. I think the other one was from Knit Crate too. 
That's the company. Yeah, by Knit Crate. And what we have here is this lighter orange. It's it's a light orange, almost a peachy color, but it's darker than the last color. And this is this is lovely too. This makes me happy. It's called Clay Pot. And I think that's yeah, it might be appropriate name for it. Anyways, this wool is 100% merino wool, DK. Now, this feels like a little bit of a of a heavier DK weight. It's not it's certainly not a 3 or a four, or a, rather a 4, but it's a, it's a heavier DK weight and that's fine. Oh yeah, see because see for my 100 grams here, I'm going to get 230 yards or 215 meters. It's also a hand wash and lay flat to dry. So that's that's nice. Now with all these colors, again, this is all the boxes are the same. So I'm going to have two of these skeins in each of the other three boxes. Again, these skeins are from Knit Crate as well. And this is sleek. Uh, dyeing wools. So this is clearly going to be another kind of wool from pretty much the same company. It's orange. It's a pumpkin orange. So I'm sure they were hoping I liked orange. And you know what's really interesting is oranges and yellows really aren't a color I'm drawn to. And so most of the yarn in my stash is like everything but. And after I made this order, I was really, I was really thinking about how I had some projects coming up that I really needed some orange and yellow for because for whatever reason this year I plan on using orange and yellow, but I don't typically use it. So I don't have it. And I was thinking about looking for some and possibly purchasing it. And I held off. I decided, you know what? I really, really need yellow, but I'm going to hold off and see what comes in, what comes in my, in my boxes, particularly the box from Darn Good Yarns. Because I was hoping, hoping that I had some yellow in there and a little bit of orange. So I got my orange, I'm, you know, <laughs> and, and boy, am I glad I waited because I really got my orange. So this particular wool or colorway is called Bliss. That's the name of this one. It's a 55% fine merino wool, 30% alpaca, and 15% mulberry silk. Now, this is also a luscious, soft yarn, right? It's not like fluffy cloud soft. It's just the, the yarn. You just can see that the fabric is just like butter. The, no, the fabric that we'll, you'll make from this is just going to feel very buttery. It's very lovely. This is also a little on the heavier side for a DK, and that's fine. That's lovely. And for your 100 grams of this yarn, you're going to get 220 yards, which is going to be about 200 meters of, of this yarn. And it's a hand wash only, and they don't say it, but I'm sure lay flat to dry. Yeah, that's good. This is, this really is, what whatever you think of the color, this is really wonderful yarn. And look, I got my yellow. So I will have eight skeins of this, which is beautiful and perfect for what I need it for. So this is Vitalana also. And all of them came with this barcode over the pertinent information. So I tore this off and I put, and I, and I wrote it here on the front of the tag. So I'd be able to be able to tell you what that was. And this is a 48% Merino. 20% baby alpaca, and again, 32% organic Pima cotton. So this is basically the same yarn, just a different colorway as the first yarn I, I pulled out. And the colorway is called daffodil. So again, I, I'm not seeing seeing the the information in terms of in terms of yardage or meters but you know it's pretty much the same as the spray rose so i imagine the the specs are are exactly the same because what the fiber is made from the blend is is exactly the same so again we're looking at 274 yards or 250 meters for 
my 100 grams of yarn. And this and this yarn is a is a true is a true DK in my opinion. So, I got plenty of my yellows, I got my oranges, and I even got some peach plenty. As, as I said before, all boxes are were exactly the same in this case. The only thing that was different was the color of the bags that they came in. But for me, that worked out perfectly. And now let's move on to the next two mystery bags of yarn, and that will be the fingering weight. So, is anyone surprised to see that I got more orange? <laughs> so, the two boxes of the fingering weight yarn that I received, both boxes were exactly the same. And in each box, I got three skeins of Vitalana again by Knit Crate, the Sailor's Delight. I had this in the DK, and now I have this colorway in some fingering weight yarn. It's a 50% superwash merino wool and a 50% tinsel. I get 400 yards for my 100 grams and wash, lay flat. If you're using a hook, because you are a crocheter, you're going to want to use, according to the directions, a B to an E or a 2.5 millimeter to a 3.5 millimeter. If you are a knitter, you're going to want to use a US 1 through 3, or a 2.5 millimeter to a 3.5 mil millimeter. So again, this is super soft and super orange. I swear, I am not going to have need for orange for many, many moons to come, I think. The next color to come in the fingering weight box, by the way, my fingering weight yarn and my assorted colors yarn did not come in a bag this time. They just came in your everyday brown boxes, which wasn't nearly as fun, but you know, it, it's just as functional, I suppose. So the next yarn is still a Vitalana yarn by Knit Crate. It seems that all of their wool and wool blends are, you know, their distributor seems to be Knit Crate. Uh, this one, as, as were the the orange yarns called are from the Silhouette Collection. Also, you know, same exact specs. 50% superwash merino wool and 50% tinsel. And the colorway of this beautiful soft pink is called Misty Dawn. It just, it feels wonderful. I mean, it's super buttery soft. There's, there's no hating on this, on this particular yarn at all. Again, it's 100 grams, 400 yards or 365 meters. All the specs are pretty much the same except for the colorway. And this time I got four of the hanks. So two hanks came in each one of the boxes. And then last but not least, this beautiful soft lavender. I like this a lot and I think it would look lovely, just lovely with a gray. So now maybe I have to think about purchasing a, a gray. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, husband dear, <laughs> your wife would like some more yarn, please. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's also silhouette. So they're basically the same, the same exact yarn, just different colorways. And then let me see if I've got something here because we've got all these. See what the colorway on this one is because. And got all these all these barcodes stuffed to the back. Ooh, Moonrise. Moonrise is the name of this colorway. And this really is a beautiful soft lavender. So while I think I'm really starting to get over orange, <laughs> I am super pleased with the quality of the yarn that I got. And, and the colors. I mean, I certainly got enough of the same color in order to really, to really do something, something very lovely with. So now we're moving on to the two mystery boxes of the assorted colors. And this box, as I suspected, was definitely the mystery. And so 
I'll start showing you all the, the different yarns. And, and both boxes had different yarns in them, but I did get several pairs. So that was kind of nice. So let me go ahead and show you what all that so was. So the first yarn that I pull out of my assorted colors is the Labrebis or Labrebis Puffo. Knit, it's by Knit Crate. Obviously, it's a it's a super bulky yarn. I mean, it's at at the very least a six, certainly a blanket weight yarn to say the least. The colorway is juniper. It's a hundred percent fine Highland wool, and it feels it feels like wool. We've even got some stuff in there, some wool stuff. And for your hundred grams, you are going to get sixty yards or 54 meters. Again, it's a hand wash only and dry flat. Because it's such a bulky yarn, if you're using a hook, it recommends that you use a US size M through Q, or if you're doing metrics, a nine to 15 millimeter hook. Also, if you're using needles, they recommend an 11 through 17 US size or an eight through 12, seven, five millimeters. So this is really rather interesting. I mean, there's really not a lot of it here. I think I could probably do like a, a nice ami groomy because this really is quite a one-off skein of yarn for me. But we'll see what, we'll see what I can do with it. Next, I got two skeins between the two boxes. I received these two skeins of, um, again, all the, I think just about everything comes from Knit Crate, or at least as, as far as the yarn distributor is concerned. Audine wools called Mellow. So this color is called Setting Sun. So I think I'm beginning to see a trend, these kind of almost rusty reds. They seem to be calling them Sun or giving them the name Sun. Because remember in the last yarn haul from Premier Yarns when I discussed that cotton yarn that was called Sunrise and I didn't get it because everything was, you know, the colors were these kinds of reddish colors. Yeah, so I guess, I guess that's a thing in the industry. But at any rate, it's still a bulky yarn. I would say it's a five. And for your 100 grams, you're going to get 125 yards. Your 80% alpaca, 20% tinsel. And it feels, it feels quite soft. Hand wash gently and flat dry. Hook sizes, you're going to want to use a U.S. hook size of K through M or a 6.5 to 8, 9 millimeter hook. Needle wise, you're going to want to use a size 11 through 17 U.S. or a 5.5. To an eight millimeter needle. So this is nice. So, so far I'm really not unhappy with what I'm pulling out of this box. Well, looks like I got some more yellow. This is interesting. This is clearly a super bulky. And this is Yuru yarn. They're cozy yarn from Knit Crate. And again, I had to pull some stuff away so that I could get some get some information on this yarn. So this yarn, or actually, let me rephrase that. This particular yarn, I had to actually go and research it on the net because I, I couldn't get these barcodes off without ripping the tag. So this yarn right here is 45% alpaca and 45% Surrey. Now, for those of you who don't know what Surrey is, Surrey is just another um, another aspect of of alpaca yarn. So the yarn on alpacas, or I rather I should say the wool on alpaca, depending on the wool and the location of it on the alpaca itself, sometimes determines the quality and the name and the type of wool that's being used. If any of that just made sense. So anyways, it's basically 90% alpaca really. And then 10% Stellina. I'm not entirely sure what Stellina is. So this yarn right here, so oh, just just to just to give you a quick um, a quick review, the other yarns that I just showed you, they 
retail out, depending on where you buy them, they're going to retail out between $20 and $32. This yarn right here, and I don't think they make it anymore, but this yarn right here in this colorway, and what was the colorway? I think I, I thought I wrote it down. Uh-oh. I see. Did I not? Really, I didn't write that down? Holy cow. Um, hmm. Let me see. All right. So I was managed to pull that, that barcode off. And the colorway of this is called Fruit Tree. And for your 100 grams of this yarn, you're going to get 55 yards or 50 meters. Again, hand wash gently and lay flat to dry. See, and then everything else is covered up. But they recommend a U.S. knitting needle size of 11 or 8 millimeters. So this is kind of interesting. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm not entirely sure. The color is really interesting too. I haven't decided if I even really like it or not. But if I'm making it for a gift for someone who really likes these sorts of colors, then I don't think it matters if I really care for it or not. But it's definitely bright and it's definitely sunshiny and it's definitely yellow. Oh, and before I take this away. So this particular yarn here, through my research, as I said, I don't think they're still um, making this particular colorway. I think this one's been discontinued. But when it was being sold, I was seeing it retail out between $23 and $34 per skein. Here's a really pretty natural skein. I really, I really like this one a lot. The colorway on this is called Jazz. It's 41% alpaca, 26% alpaca, or sorry, let me try this again. It's 41% wool, 26% alpaca, 23% tinsel, and 10% baby alpaca. It's a worsted weight, so it's your standard four weight. And it's a, it's a good solid four in my opinion. And for your 100 grams, you're going to get 150 yards. Uh, USI through K size hook, 5.5 millimeter through 6.5 millimeter. If you're using needles, they suggest a US 7 through size 9 or a 4.5 through a 5.5 millimeter. This is also under the, under the collection of Audine wools. It's their Harmony. And it's also by Knit Crate. So now next, we're coming into a few issues. Now, I don't know if they just made a mistake or if they ran out of yarn or what the deal is, but this is not wool. This is not a wool blend. It's pretty, but it's not wool. The name of this colorway is Cucumber. And this particular yarn is a DK weight, which is fine. I love DK weight. They, they're saying it's for our sport weight. But it is a 34% cotton, 35% linen, 19% lyocell, and like I think 11% nylon. This yarn, as you can see, I've got written here, retails out at $32 a skein. If you're using a crochet hook, the recommended size is a size E or a size four through seven hook in US sizes or a 3.5 through 4.5 millimeter. For needles, you're looking at a U.S. size of 3 to, through 5 or a 3.25 through a 3.75 millimeter needles. Now this, you can machine wash. 
I can't see the rest of the instructions, but I'm guessing it's going to be a dry flat. I don't know. I'll look at some of the other ones, but um, I'm because they, they gave me more. I got I got a bit of yarn that was not wool. And I don't know how I feel about that because, you know, the yarn is definitely nice yarn. I'm not complaining about that. It just isn't wool. You know what I mean? So this is this yarn is the Uru yarn. Asher, I believe, by um, Knit Crate. Here's my next skein of the Uru yarn, the Asher. And this is really quite a lovely color. I'm almost sorry I only got just the one skein if I was going to get non-wool yarn. Same specs. So even though it's covered up on the back, it's really pretty much the same as before. And it's going to retail out just as just like the other ones. And, and that was about $32 a skein. And this particular colorway, I don't know. Let's see if I can pull off this tag. No, I'm just not, I'm just not able to do this one. I can already see if I try to pull it off, I'm going to take the, I'm going to take the rest of the label with it. So that's nice. I just don't know the name. Of the and then way. I got yet two more skeins of, of cotton. Now this is the Uru Yarn Stitch and Hustle, their cotton basic. And this is 100% organic Pima cotton. So this one actually retails out at between $18 and $20. It's, as far as I could tell, it's no longer available. I do like this quite a bit. There again, it's not wool, but I like it well enough that I actually hunted down two more skeins of this and purchased two skeins of this from a different seller on eBay so that I would have enough of this cotton to do a complete, I'm thinking maybe a, maybe a um, shawl or a long skirt or something. So that's what I did. So, so obviously I really like this colorway and this colorway is called pavement. It's a DK weight. It's machine washable. I can't tell by the by the label because it's there again, but I believe it's a lay flat to dry. Um, the rest of it, oh wait, here I wrote down some other stuff. So each skein comes with 266 yards or 242 meters. So again, beautiful, beautiful yarn, obviously because I hunted down two more skeins of it for a project. However, not wool. Just saying. That's a little concerning to me. That, that makes me question. And, you know, and I really like darn good yarn. So I'm going to, I'm going to hope it was a mistake. I don't know. You know, five skeins of cotton yarn in a wool mystery box doesn't seem much like a mistake but you know all right we'll see it's okay I'll still use it that's all good and well okay so the next yarn that we got is this lovely Audine wools flannel look at that rich brown that has those deep red undertones almost like a um like a real deep burgundy just gorgeous. I really like this a lot. So I had to look this one up because I wasn't able to get the tags off again. So this is an alpaca and merino blend. And it feels like it. It is just, I mean, the color is beautiful. The feel of the yarn is beautiful. Just gorgeous. And the name of this yarn, or the colorway rather, is Buffalo. So I'm going to say that it's a DK weight. And other than that, I can't really tell you how many yards comes with this. It's going to be a big guessing game. And then I got this. 
Does this look familiar? This is that same yarn that, um, oh, what was it called? From, from earlier. That peachy, that peachy color that I, that I told you about from the earlier DK box. So I got one more skein of that. And that's okay because that's a lovely color. So a little more is not going to hurt my feelings at all. So that's awesome. And then, <laughs> and then dun, dun, dun. Last but not least, to finish off the haul, we've got more orange. <laughs> the saving grace in having so much orange is that this is a beautiful yarn. <laughs> It's really, it's really quite lovely, quite lovely yarn. And I'm so, so that's nice. It feels lovely. It looks lovely. I can already see it's going to, to work up so nicely. It's just orange again. <laughs> so, you know, that's the end of that haul. So let's talk dollars. So for all the yarn that I purchased, I paid, or rather, let me back that up just a, just a hair. For all the yarn that I purchased, if I had bought it retail price, I would have spent $1,288, right? That's a lot of orange. <laughs> That's a lot of money in orange. <laughs> but, um, but what I did do is, of course, I, I didn't pay that because of... Because of the already huge discount that was being given on these mystery boxes. And because of the Boxing Day sale, which gave me basically a buy one, get one free advantage. I only paid, and this is with shipping, I only paid $264. $264 for $1,288 worth of yarn. And really, the majority of the yarn that I got in this haul is beautiful. It's soft. It's it's lovely. Um, you know, e even the orange, <laughs> even the orange is pretty. <laughs> uh, and there are people out there who look great in orange. So, you know, orange is going to be just fine. And yeah, I mean, really, I'm joking a lot about the orange. But the only the only disappointment that that I had with these mystery boxes and they're true mystery boxes is the fact that it was supposed to be a wool mystery box and I got five skeins of cotton. So I'm kind of torn on that because I didn't order I didn't you know I didn't want the cotton I didn't order the cotton but the two skeins of cotton that I did get I liked enough to hunt that down, even though it's a discontinued yarn, to hunt down and buy a couple of more skeins of it so that I could use it in a project because, because I like it that much. So there you have it. There is my darn good yarn, yarn haul of mystery yarns of the woolly stash. And so I guess I'm just going to have to let you go and wish you a most wonderful weekend and promise to see you soon. All right. Bye-bye now.